Hello Crafters, Janine here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this really cute, really fun chalkboard platter. It's just so whimsical and cute. Um, it's one of those things that the inspiration just hit me. I saw a picture, and it was just the inside painted with chalkboard paint, and I thought, you know, you could do so much more with that and really jazz it up and make it super cute. And it also occurred to me that it would make a really great Christmas present. So it's something that I'm going to create today and put up until the holidays. And inspiration will hit again, and I will just figure out who's the perfect person to give it to. So if you'd like to see how I did this, stay tuned. The products that you're going to need to complete this project is, of course, a platter, plate, or a ceramic piece of, or porcelain piece of some sort. I'm going to use some masking tape so that I can keep the chalkboard area nice and clean and straight. Um, I'm going to be using a couple of different uh, multi-purpose paints uh, that can be baked in the oven that will create a permanent adherence to the plate, some chalkboard paint, and this is optional. This just depends on you know what kind of look you're going for, but I'm going to be using some stencils that I made uh, with my Cricut and some clear contact paper. Of course, if you want to use stencils, you use stencils that you have on hand. Um, I'm also going to try to, I hope this is going to work out, but I'm going to try and use these metallic Sharpie markers and I'm going to be using a ruler. And you'll see why in a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tape off the area uh, on the inside. And Okay, now that I've got the area taped off that I want to paint with the chalkboard paint. My first step is going to be apply, to apply one pretty thick, not not horribly thick, terribly thick or, or way too thick, but just a nice um, even coat of this multi-surface paint uh, in black. And the reason that we're using this paint, this multi-surface paint, before we put on the chalkboard paint is when you have these ceramics or porcelain pieces that have this glaze coat on them, um, sometimes your chalkboard paint is not going to want to adhere to them. So the way that you solve that is to put a coat of this multi-surface paint down first and then you put on your chalkboard paint coat and then you bake it in the oven and that's going to adhere this paint to the porcelain dish completely and thoroughly which will help adhere the chalkboard paint to that. Um, so anyway, that's why we start with this layer first and I'm just going to use a foam brush and I just squirted my paint out onto a paper plate. I'm going to let this dry completely for one hour and I'm going to come back and put two coats of the chalkboard paint on top of this. Now that the multi-surface enamel paint has dried for one hour, I'm going to go ahead and apply one coat of the chalkboard paint. And again, I just put it on a paper plate and I'm going to spread it on in an even coat. Okay, you can see when I'm applying paint, I go in both directions in a crosshatch design, sort of, and that's just to make sure that I get nice, even coverage uh, across the entire thing um, and to minimize brush strokes. And quite honestly, it doesn't really help that much with minimizing the brush strokes, but I try. And you can see, too, that I did roll down the tape away from the edge um, because I am going to apply one coat of this gold glitter um, enamel paint um, and it's really just a clear base with a little bit of gold glitter in it and I'm just going to apply that around the edge of the platter uh, and I'm just going to use a, a separate sponge brush for applying that with. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm adding just this cute little fork and knife and spoon design all around the edge using my metallic Sharpie markers and just a little stencil that I made using my Cricut and clear contact paper. Um, so you can see I've got it all the way around, but I saved this side just to give you a quick demonstration of how I did it. And it's really simple. Since I made the design a little bit too large to fit it all on the edge, what I'm doing is just doing the spoon separately from the knife and fork. And I'm, so I'm just laying the spoon down. You can see I'm keeping them going in the same direction all the way around. Uh, so that it'll look consistent, but we're not. This is not an exact science. This is just meant to be a cute decoration. Uh, just add a little whimsy and fun to the platter, and the hope is that when once this is baked, since I put that enamel glitter coating on first that once this is baked this uh, Sharpie uh, ink will adhere also so I'm just pressing the sticky stuff down pretty good and I'm just doing this pretty quickly like I said this is supposed to be whimsical not an exact science if I do it for too long or too much then it starts to bleed really bad underneath and you see I'm just kind of tapping sometimes the the ink just wants to smear around so I just kind of tap it on to get a good transfer and then pull it up and there is going to be a little bit of bleeding and some spots are kind of skipped and again you just tap with the marker and fill in those spots and now the knife and fork are going the opposite direction so for the spoon I use the silver sharpie but for the uh, knife and fork I've been using the bronze sharpie And again, I'm just going over it pretty quickly. And I'm just going to, wherever it kind of skipped a little bit, just fill it in a little bit better. And that's it. So I'm going to finish this last little bit and go ahead and give this a second coating with the chalkboard paint. Okay, now that everything has dried completely, this is where my handy dandy little ruler is coming, going to come into play. Because if I was to just start pulling up this tape, it would, because this paint isn't, hasn't been cured in the oven yet, and this ceramic surface is so slick, it would just pull the paint up with the tape. So what I'm gonna do is lay the ruler at the edge of the tape, and as I pull the tape, I'm gonna put a, apply a little pressure with the ruler to keep the paint in place while I pull the tape up, if that makes sense to you. I don't know how else to explain it. But it's basically just to keep The paint from coming up with the tape. is ready to go into the oven so I'm going to put it in a cold oven set the temperature to 350 degrees once it reaches temperature then I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes when the timer goes off I'm going to turn the oven off but leave the platter in the oven until it is 100% cooled off and that will cure this paint 
and hopefully this Sharpie marker permanently to the platter. So I will see you once that process is complete. Okay, everything has cooled off completely and I took it out of the oven and it would appear that all the paints have set up really well. So I'm very pleased with the outcome here. Now the directions for the chalkboard paint say to prime it before use and to do that you simply rub the surface with some chalk. Rub the entire surface with chalk. moisture dry for a little bit while I get my stencil prepared and what I did was with my Cricut I just put in um, they had a chalkboard font and so I just typed in Bon Appetit but I'm actually using the negative instead of the the letters themselves I'm using the the negative space that they created so I'm gonna go ahead and get that uh, the sticky part peeled away from the paper backing. Okay, I've got the the clear contact paper stuck down onto the platter and this is just going to be a temporary uh, I'm just going to rub it with the chalk. If I wanted this to be more of a permanent lettering on this platter, then I would use a chalkboard or a chalk marker because that lasts longer and holds up you know with wear and tear but I want whoever receives this platter to be able to change out the message to suit their decor or their likings or so forth so this I don't want this to be permanent I just want it to be temporary so I'm just gonna rub over just color in Okay, now that I've got it basically filled in, I've just got a wet Q-tip that I'm going to go and clean out um, some of where there should be some little negative spaces, like in the B here, in the O, a little bit in the A, in the P's. Okay, and let's peel up. That looks awesome. Maybe we can add some further embellishments. Okay, I think that's pretty darn cute and ready to give as a gift. And what I'm going to do is just take three or four pieces of this chalk, tie it in a little twine, and give it with the platter, as well as a stand to put in the package with the platter. So I hope you enjoyed this chalkboard project. Please give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more um, of this sort of craft, porcelain painting or china painting or ceramic painting, whatever you want to call it, and, um, you know, making things with my Cricut, because um, there's so many different things you can make with a Cricut. Anyway, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.